we're on our way to the pear tree. Hi, this is Deneen from Dining with Deneen from MinnoDiningGuide.com. Here we are in beautiful Bevere, Missouri, getting ready to go to the pear tree. We parked in front of what is now the post office, but was once City Hall and the Public Library. And if you look across the street, you will see that Bevere was once a railroad town. Bevere has beautiful old buildings. And we're headed down the street to the pear tree. As the sun sets in beautiful Bevere, here we are, we've arrived. Let's go on in. I thought we'd take a little tour around the restaurant. Um, that down there is a whole hallway, and they call that Lover's Lane. And then, of course, there's the bar area. And they have all these really cool Tiffany lamps. And I, I know you can't really see that. And then we're right here on the corner where all the action is. So we are going to start with their uh, homemade onion rings, which we have been told are a classic icon appetizer here at the Pear Tree. Well, we just had some delicious onion rings and now we're ready for the table side salad. And if you take a look here, you can see that they make everything here fresh. They have the homemade croutons, feta, and then three different homemade uh, dressings served in addition with their flatbread. I'm enjoying some of the salad. I have to tell you, it's really fantastic. So if you'll pan down here, you can see the, the croutons are homemade and they have the huge chunks of feta cheese. The dressings are just spectacular. They're all made from scratch, homemade here in house. And I'm telling you, that sweet and sour is delicious. The cool thing here at the pear tree is they finish off your uh, dish table side. Enjoy. That looks delicious. What was that? It's a 12 ounce prime rib with baked potato and a side of horseradish. Very nice. And I am having the prawns and the petite filet with the baked potato. It's going to be delicious and I'm um, going to have a glass of Pinot. So one of the fun things about dining out is of course enjoying a perfect pairing and uh, what we've done here is I've cut off a small piece of the filet that I have and then I ordered a delicious Pinot Noir. This is a Mirasu Pinot Noir and uh, as I mentioned before it's really nice to do a medium bodied wine when you're having both seafood and a steak or a heavier meat. So the, the perfect way to do a, a tasting is first to take a little taste of wine. And you want to get that all over the inside of your mouth so your palate really can enjoy it and can liven it up. And then you take a bite of the food. The steak is unbelievable. I, I keep saying it's perfectly cooked, but it really is. And that's very hard to do. And then you finish it off with another taste of wine. That's how it, it's fantastic. That pairing is fantastic. So next time you're out, enjoy a little wine with your food, a little food with your wine. So I just took a bite of this um, prawn and it is fantastic. It, the crispy coating, it's, it's just it's perfectly cooked and um, look at how huge that is. It's great. Jody just gave me a piece of his prime ribbon. How's it taste? This is fantastic. I would put this up with any chef in St. Louis or Columbia. I just cut into my steak. And look at that. That, my friends, is what we're talking That's money right there. I ordered it medium rare, and it is cooked perfectly. You can see there it's got a nice red center and then a nice crisp crust on the outside. It's, it's going to be delicious. I can't wait. Well, just like the sign says, life is short, eat dessert first, except we have all those other yummy things. We're now getting ready to the sweet part of the meal. Um, we're having a little coffee. We ordered something called the OMG which is apparently white chocolate chips and dark chocolate chips and they make a little loaf pan and then they tunnel that out and then make the caramel then they make a lid on top of that and then i don't know it's just it's so much really goodness well, this is a delicious meal here at the pear tree and as you can see from all the boards on the wall um they're well known and they should be. You need to get out of here to Bavir. It was fantastic. All the foods were full of flavor and homemade, you know, right here from scratch and just so tasty, I can't even tell you. And uh, I know that you can pick up their dressings and their homemade croutons in um, a local store near you. So get out here to Bavir to the pear tree. It's delicious.